Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial in the Pelkas 2 DX C++ physics series and in this part we're going to be looking at how to apply forces to our objects. This tutorial assumes you've got the base code or the source code I should say from the fifth part of the series. If you haven't don't worry there will be a link in the description to the source code. So you can set the force of an object which applies a constant force in a certain direction so even colliding with an object won't change the overall direction. This is something that really needs to be visually shown to truly understood how it works. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Okay, so what we're going to do is sprite body apply force and so we're going to do rec and we're just going to put 178 and now let's just run this so we're going to apply a force to the sprite body of 100 in the x axis and 78 in the y axis obviously these numbers can be negative as well to go up, down, left or right Okay, okay. Here we go. So the object is moving. As you can see, even though it collided, it keeps going back towards that direction simply because. Actually, one second, I'm going to disable gravity. Uh, gravity sort of interfered with it going up. That's how. That's what it should have been doing, going up like that. Even though it collided, it didn't bounce back off and move in the other direction. It's just constantly trying to go in that one direction. That's what the force does. And that is it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at torque, applying torque to our object. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.